Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. Today I am giving you an Easter home decor tour. Now with everything going on in the world right now, none of us are out shopping and buying decor or anything like that, but home decor for me is just what gives me joy in life, so I just love making the home beautiful and decorating for each season or holiday, whatever that may be. Um, so I've gathered things that I already had and I have ordered a few things online and I don't decorate a whole lot for Easter, but I do love Easter and I'm probably gonna add some more Easter pieces in the future because, oh my gosh, bunnies, they are just so cute. So I love all the bunnies and as you can see behind me, I have the bunny that I got at Home Goods, and that one is definitely my favorite by far. But I just wanted to um, maybe cheer up your day, bring you a little bit of joy, and show you some of the decor that I have got out for Easter. Um, we're just doing Easter at home this year, just trying to make everything as normal as possible at home. Um, I got everything um to cook for our traditional easter dinner that we usually have every year with family we're just going to do it right here at home so we're just doing the best that we can with what we have here and um, let's get on with the tour i hope you enjoy but first i wanted to share with you some gorgeous pieces i just got from anna luisa jewelry this jewelry is so beautiful and definitely affordable. The pieces are starting at $39 and they go up into some fine jewelry. Um, I selected these three pieces that I'm wearing here. This necklace um, is the Rebecca and I have on this gorgeous uh, braided ring and this beautiful bracelet and these are um, 14 karat gold dipped. So. They're amazing quality, they're tarnish free. I really love this packaging though. It just seems so luxury. It looks like um, a Louis, it reminds me of a Louis Vuitton box, how it has a little ribbon and you pull it out and there are three velvet pouches or they, each piece comes in a little beautiful velvet pouch which is so nice to store your jewelry pieces in. So I'm just gonna keep this gorgeous box and the little pouches and when I'm not wearing them, I will store them in there um, to keep them safe. What I really love about this company is the sustainability. These pieces are made with 100% recycled gold. This company pledges to achieve a net zero carbon footprint by the end of 2020. You've got to appreciate a company that has our future in mind. And with Mother's Day coming up, I know we're not going to be out doing a lot of shopping. I think these would make an amazing Mother's Day gift. They are quality pieces, tarnish free. The prices are amazing starting at $39. As a matter of fact, they're having an amazing Mother's Day sale right now. If you use the code MOM35, you will get buy one, get one 35% off. That is an amazing deal. And click my link down below in the description box if you're looking to order. All right guys, let's get on with the home tour. All right guys, welcome to my Easter home tour. This is the view that you get right whenever you walk in the front door. And if I just turn around, this is our little entryway, which I haven't done a lot to. Um, I don't have a lot of Easter decor and I didn't have an Easter pillow or anything. I would have liked to have like an Easter egg wreath or a tulip wreath, but um, yeah, shopping kind of got cut short, so I didn't find anything like that. So this is just kind of how this always stays. I don't do a lot for Easter, but I wanted to share the little touches um, that I did add. I still have this painting up and this was for fall and winter. I'm looking for something a little bit more spring, summer vibe. I do have something there, but that's what I have hanging in my bedroom now and I really love it. Um, I just put some little mossy birds and some succulents that I had laying around out. Nothing too big. I've still got my French bust and my lamp here. 
and over here I added this beautiful giant bunny that I got um, at Home Goods on opening day here. I'm so excited that we finally got a Home Goods. Uh, unfortunately, we're not able to shop there right now, but I will be so excited whenever um, we get to go back. I did get some more um, cherry blossom stems to put in this big vase to fill it out a little bit more for spring. This is a new pillow that I got at Target recently and it is just so pretty and I love the subtle floral print on there. And then I still have my gorgeous fur throw from Pottery Barn draped over this chair. This is my favorite little spot in the house. Um, my sconces here are from Antique Farmhouse. I've got them hanging on each side of the fireplace. This Happy Easter banner is from Target. I ordered that online. And then I got this bunny last year on clearance from TJ Maxx. He's got a cute little basket full of eggs. And these I showed in my Valentine's Day video. They are pretty pink cherry blossom stems in these vases that I got from Target. And this garland here I have had for a while. It is very springy. Um, I got it at Hobby Lobby. And then I just absolutely love this garland from Target. It is metal and gold and it just looks so pretty on the fireplace. I think this was the perfect touch. My favorite favorite little spot. I did recently change up the coffee table decor. I found this little stand and I put my candle on it. It's a cute little bunny stand I got a while ago, like a year or two ago, in the Target Dollar Spot. Put my beautiful, beautiful crystal that I got at Home Goods. Um, I'm just loving being able to shop there. Um, I got this there as well, and I filled it with these beautiful roses, perfect for spring. And I just have an urn up on top of that cabinet with some ferns coming out of it. And then I have this pretty throw here with the little gold sequins from Target. And this pillow here is from Target. All the other pillows are from TJ Maxx. Then I have our dining room area over here set up for Easter. I made our little planter boxes here on the wall springy. I have these peonies in them, um, some succulents, and this little Easter sign, and just some more little plants there. So over here on the table, I just put these little place settings out. I don't put silverware or um, cups or anything out. Maybe if I'm going to stage a photo, I do that. So just for daily um, decor, I just keep these out um, because when it's time for us to eat, I use these for decor only. I just stack them up and then we eat. So I got these plates at Pier 1, these napkins I've had. These plates are hearth in hand. These were from Christmas. These chargers are like a chippy white from Hobby Lobby. And I'm not sure where these are from. Probably Hobby Lobby. Um, so I just like to set these out for decor. And then whenever I do um, like a photo shoot or something, I will add like 
cups and silverware and just make it a little bit more fancy looking. So here's the view from this side of the table. Got the cutting board, it's, um, old vintage cutting board or breadboard that I got at an antique market. And this pretty spring wreath I found at TJ Maxx a while back. I have hanging there. Um, we have two extra chairs. One of them is not in here and the other one we keep here. Our table um, has seats eight. So that's nice. We've had this table for eight years now. And it was a cherry color. And I painted it white and distressed it. So... Uh, when my husband sits here, he doesn't like to sit next to another chair, so we just keep um, one chair on the ends there. Then I have a lot of these vintage Crocs um, around my house. I love these Crocs, especially especially the big ones. Um, this is a 12-gallon Croc. It is very heavy. I doubt I can even pick it up. So I just like to stick little flowers and stuff in there and uh, make it a little springy and speaking of vintage we have this vintage repurposed fireplace mantle that I found at an antique store it's chippy and beautiful and we've got it screwed into our wall um, I have this had this tobacco basket it is a vintage piece as well I've just had it resting there for a long time it just rests there, um, kind of just fills in the space. It's got the wall marked up. But, um, I don't know, I might be open to thinking of, thinking of another idea to fill in that space because I'm always wanting to change things around. And I always keep this garland up. Um, it's just a nice neutral floral garland. And I found this at Walmart. Well, I didn't find it. I was doing an online grocery pickup so I was doing an online grocery order and it just recommended this little garland to me and it was like $1.97 so I added it and I got it and it's just a cute little touch for Easter and this kind of always stays the same there's just some flowers cutting boards rolling pins this towel that my sister made me with um, my grandmother's with my great grandmother's handwriting um, her, one of her recipes. I've got this cute little egg tray from Hearth and Hand. And my mom got us this rolling pin with our name engraved in it. So that's everything that I have over here. It's another view from this way. I have this picture hanging here, which I think I'm gonna have my husband redo it today. Um, I feel like it's a little high. For the area and then there's our kitchen right through there we have this like little partition wall so we're gonna go into the kitchen and our boys bedrooms and bathroom is down that way um, this is the view of our kitchen I recently ordered these adorable bunnies from Pottery Barn. They had, or they probably still have, an amazing sale going on. So they, these were super cheap. Got this cute little bunny bowl with some Easter candies in it. And I got this adorable bunny holding the little basket. And I put uh, some beautiful eggs that I got from um home goods my last home goods trip that i took at the beginning of march they are breakable i'm not sure what they're made out of but they're so pretty and this little guy right here um all from pottery barn these ginger jars are from home goods and this marble looking vase is from west elm and it is actually a wine chiller so you put your bottle of wine down in there so um, I use it as a vase sometimes and it looks really pretty. So that's what I have sitting here on our island and our countertops. They are marble. And I just 
Love the marble. I've always wanted marble. On the wall over here I have some beautiful spring floral canvas print that I got at an antique store and the frame I got at a different antique store and they just happen to fit perfectly together. So that's what I have hanging in here right now. Um, got a wreath there on our pantry door. Our fridge is even got a little spring screen going on. Here's uh, my little coffee station. I just love this wooden um, tray I got from Target a while ago. It's from the Hearth and Hand collection and I got it and I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but the coffee stuff sit, fit in there really cute. So that's what I've got there now. And I have this cute little Easter mug. And then I have my beautiful Smeg appliances, cute little pink rolling pin. And then I have this adorable Easter towel that I got at Target a while back. Um, I had this apothecary jar that I made um, a little display with some Easter candies. In, and you can probably see my reflection, but um, I put these little pastel eggs and this chocolate bunny. It's so hard to see because of the reflection. And then I have more of these beautiful eggs um, in this, it's like a fruit bowl, and it is marble, and it's from West Elm. And I just have my McKinsey Child's tea kettle, which I love so much. And I got this beautiful pot holder at Target as well. When they very first put their spring stuff out, probably in February. So that's the Easter look I've got going on in here. So then if you immediately turn around from the kitchen, we have this, um, have this door that goes out to our back deck and you walk into this room and this is what I like to call our butler's pantry. We've got these two chandelier lights hanging here. And it's just a little walk-through area with our washer and dryer. And it goes down into our family room. And we have these gates up because this is where our two little dogs stay um, when we are not home. This is their little room. Um, we recently redid this cabinet and we put the quartz countertops on and got this beautiful and we got this beautiful farmhouse sink from IKEA. We still haven't installed the faucet, so we don't have that yet. I just have some San Pellegrino. I love that stuff. Um, I just have that sitting there right now. And our microwave is in here um, because our microwave, our microwave was above the stove, but we had this gorgeous range hood put in and it was hard trying to decide if we wanted to have the microwave here, but I think it just works out nice. And you can see that ugly side. Each of these sides are going to be covered up. We have some wine racks that are being made to, um, go on each side one for wine bottles and one for wine glasses because I don't have anywhere to keep those and this is kind of an awkward area with the these doors they house uh, our water heater and stuff and then I'll give you a little better view I just have this antique pie safe in this little nook here um, I used to have shelving here and then I would hang my laundry on but I would love to hang my laundry now but it's just kind of awkward to walk through this area. Um, I did not have a place to put that even though I found it and thought it was so cute so I just draped it um, from there but I keep these doors open um, and I've been I've had this here since Christmas so 
I decorated it with some Ray Dunn, which I don't really collect anymore, but I do have some. I guess I do, kind of. Uh, so I decorated it for Christmas, and then I changed it up for Valentine's Day, and this is um, what I did for spring. So I got these cute mugs here, the honey bunny with the bunny underneath it. And then I got these cute bunny canisters at TJ Maxx and this gorgeous canister, which is beautiful Easter egg with a bunny on top and a cute bunny teapot, which I was opening the packaging and dropped it and broke its ear off. So the ear is glued on and it's backwards. So it has pink ears like that one, but I had to turn it around because the other part is so busted. But um, I just didn't have the heart to throw it out. So I tried to salvage it and you know, you can't really, you can't really tell. So I got these cute spring mugs and these little egg holders with the golden eggs inside. And I just love my heart canisters, so I'm always keeping those out. Um, I found this cute Easter canister that says egg hunt. And I don't hunt for Ray Dunn anymore, but on the opening day of our TJ Maxx, I just couldn't help myself. They had some cute stuff and it was just so much of it and it was all there, so I just seized the opportunity. I got this cute blue keepsake mug and the cute Happy Spring mug. I thought I had a pink one, but I guess that one was for Valentine's Day. I have this adorable mug that I got at Target. A cute sleeping bunny. And I've just got some eggs. Some little floral pick in there. And another little egg holder with some more of these beautiful um, sparkly ceramic eggs. And this canister here with the little dots on it is from Hobby Lobby. And then this is the Easter, little wooden Easter garland. Oh, and I've had this for like a really long to time too, this little Easter sign that I just sit here and then our dog treats are in there. So then this way you go down to our family room. And this is the view down here. And we have these stairs. Let me move this that my husband built that go down into the room. And there he is sitting outside on the furniture. They're all outside so I can film quietly. Um, this is the view from that direction. I know the gates aren't the prettiest thing to look at, but I don't know if I've ever showed these very close, um, the stairs that my husband built with this um, like chevron printed, or she I don't know, chevron shaped shiplap staircase. Say that three times fast. <laughs> um, so I moved this big clock over here. It was on the other side of the room. I have this little fiddle leaf fig in this pot that I got from Target. I think the plant is from Target too. And this is like a credenza type thing. I bought it at TJ Maxx. It was a wooden color and I painted it white. I've got my um, antique corbels. Beautiful big orchid that is in this marble pot. And then I have a pretty marble tray with uh, gold handles. I always forget that's down here. And these um, are candle holders, but I put these decorative balls in them. Um, I got them from the candle holders from Hobby Lobby. They were black and I painted them white. Um, this mirror I got from an antique store. It was already white. Then I've got to change our fireplace up. I have not changed that up in a long time. Um, not really sure what to do with it, but it is an antique hand-hewn beam. And then these are not old corbels, but they were uh, made. I bought them and didn't know what to do with them. And we mounted them under this um, beam for the fireplace and it looked 
nice actually when we were doing this fireplace here I was looking for a surround but I wanted it done before Christmas and that was several years ago and well it this was what we had to do to get it done before Christmas so um, we could change it I don't know might be in the cards one day um, here's another one of those big um, what do you want to call it the big crocs this one is so heavy it's 20 gallons I definitely cannot lift this one it's huge so those doors go out to our back patio and our dining area we've got an outdoor kitchen and a pool our pool deck is out there um, so we're working on getting all that cleaned up for spring um, not much has changed down here uh, I did just hang these wooden panels up and I've got mixed feelings about them because I think they're absolutely beautiful um, I just got them in about a week ago but obviously you can see their cream which I love the cream um, but this artwork here in the middle is bright white so it's kind of just this is like a very modern piece and these are like shabby chic so I don't know if it goes together but I just went ahead and had my husband hang them there because um, it looks better than nothing I guess so I don't know I'm gonna stare at it for a while see how I feel feel about it. I mean, I do love mixing whites and creams together, but we'll see if it grows on me. I don't want it to be too um, shabby chic, and I, uh, it can't be too modern just because of the way my house is. I have shiplap and everything, so my furniture is not modern, so it's just a nice mix. This shelf, see, yeah, this definitely is very shabby chic and vintage. It is made from old shutters I got it or I don't know that's not shutters it's like a just a old doors um got it an antique fair um and just some random little knickknacks I have in here some vintage books I don't change this out very often it was by the door that leads to our garage and this corner was empty so I moved it down here this is the it was it was right there but I'm liking the free open space but this is the only thing I've got decorated for Easter down here um, this clock is new I got it from decor steels and I've got little spring plants and I thought it was a very unique piece so that's what I've got hanging here um, for now and this is all I have down here for Easter I got this bunny trail sign last year I believe at an antique store and I've had this mossy bunny for quite a while got some little spring plants there and my hundred year old dictionary it's a lot of springy things so this is our bedroom and I don't really think anything has changed in here since my last tour but in case you haven't seen any of my videos before I thought I would include it um, it's very neutral and spring vibes in here I just have this beautiful um, bedspread from antique farmhouse and the throw is from Target uh, this crown above the bed is also from Antique Farmhouse. And this is the spring print that I had for my credenza previously, but I just love it in my bedroom now. So I'm going to have to find something else for my living room. It is so hard for me to find wall art that I like. Um, got this little chair in the corner with a tapestry a little furry ottoman basket and some flowers this is our fireplace and TV and then I have this full-length mirror this full-length floor mirror
And this is the, uh, this is the doorway that goes into our bathroom, which is a mess, and I have not gotten that ready tour ready. One day I will include it, but it's hard to get all the rooms ready at once. Um, this is pretty little orchid I got on this column that I've had for as long as I can remember. I just have another pretty mirror up there and some books. Okay, if you haven't watched my video of our bathroom redo, you should go check that out because this bathroom we completely made over. It is my boy's bathroom, also our guest bathroom. So I figured I would include a little shot of it in this video. We redid everything, the floors and the vanity and painted. And all I have in here is this Happy Easter towel. So I just wanted to share that with you. That completes today's Easter home tour. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you are all doing well and staying healthy. And I hope this video brought you some joy and entertainment. And if you're not already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps out my channel so much. Also, don't forget about the sponsor of our video, Anna Luisa, and check out the link down below in the description box. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.